We're going to tie a temple dog. Hopefully it's something along the lines of a Greenlander. So, I've here a bit of black plastic tubing with a, an inner slid into it. I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue over the junction point. Wrap on there a little bit. There. For the tag on this one, I'm going to use a bit of Mirage Opal. This one I think is a medium. Yeah. And I think this looks really well over black tubing. So, tie it in here, forward of itself, and then I like to put a little bit of varnish down where I'm going to wrap. Wrap back, this is the point here, you can see this little bulge, this is where I flared the inner and pulled it in, and that'll help to stop your Tags from sliding backwards. Trim those off. So, the teal, I'm going to use a sort of yellow fiber here. Take a little bunch of that. it in um, less than half of its length so that when you fold that back you should get a bit of a taper to that. If I take a cut down mascara brush and brush out those fibers we should get a little bit of taper in that tail. And we just take out few bits and pieces just to make that a little bit more tapered. Now, for a butt on that you can use ostrich, you can use merino. Or here I'm going to use a little bit of uh, hand spectre dub and this one is in a peacock black. Once we get a couple of fibers caught, we can twist that into a little tight dubbing rope and make a little ball for the butt section. So, for a rib, we're going to use uh, a silver oval. Put that on underneath our tube, tie it back to the butt section. And the rear part of the body is going to be silver holographic flat braid. I'm going to tie that in as well. So, uh, at this point, you can tie the fly flat as it is on plastic. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this, which is a little bit of a piece of lead. This one actually has a sort of a curve to it, which you might see. And if I take that and cut across it at an angle, and then cut across it at the same angle, but down a little bit, what I'll end up with is like a little diamond shaped bit of a piece of lead. And set that on the underneath our body here and wrap it on and what that will do is give us a little bit of a keel weight to this fly and it will help the fly to sink a little bit but it will also help it hopefully swim on an even plane. And then we want to take our silver braid and wrap on the first sort of third or so of the 
of the body with that. And the remainder we're going to do with uh, like a green chartreuse kind of a, of a dubbing. I'm just going to mix a couple of different types of uh, green glistery dubbing together here. just at the sort of junction point. So, first tackle, I'm going to use this which is like a, an olive dyed uh, grizzle. I'm just looking for fiber length here. Take that. Um, I said for our temple dogs I like to strip the leading edge of the hackles because I think it makes them a little bit less spiky. So I haven't stripped that. We'll tie it on and then we'll take our hackle pliers and wind that. Now, put on one or two turns at the front. And then start to progress backwards until we get to the butt. Then take up our silver oval and just wind it up and through the hackles. Wiggling it helps it not to catch down hackle fibers. lay a bit more backwards if we yeah I might just squeeze them and just to make this a little bit here a little bit more secure and glue on a very short portion of our tie in thread and wrap it over the tie in of the tinsel. As I said I like to glue here as I go along because I think it adds a little bit more strength to this inner tubing as we progress along it. Underwing, first portion I'm going to use is a, very, a bright sort of yellow. Uh, this is fox. I said you could use uh, you could use polar bear or possum or something sort of stiff and spiky if you want. This here, I'm actually stripping out a lot of the under fur, leaving more yard hair. An under fur here on this one. And we'll set that out to almost the length of that tail, I think. No. you can. So I'm going to take a little bit of olive uh, 
angel hair here. Tie in that and fold it back on itself. Trim those off. So now I'm gonna take a it's the same pattern as the as the body hackle, only this is a soft hackle. Check the fiber length. And double our hackle. We're not going to need all of this hackle. Just a few turns of it to take up this tie in point. Tie it in by the tip and fold it back. Turn it across itself. It'll run super glue on that. Take that on. Fold the hackle back and I'll turn it across it and that'll lock that in place. Trim it down tight. So, next up we're going to go for a green or chartreuse green portion. that aren't behaving the way I want them to and then pull out a lot of that under fur now I'm gonna use my nail to flatten out the tie in point of that check my temper Keep the glue to a minimum because you don't want it wicking into stuff. Making a mess out of it. Then we'll comb that out into our underwing. And if we wet it there, you'll get an idea of the progression of the taper that we're making. Now I want to add in a few strands of my favourite flash, which is this sort of peacock mirage crinkle ok so we're getting towards the front now so at this point You can either tie in a badger hackle or use something like this, which is like a soft hackle grizzle. So, I think we'll maybe go with the badger here, where it is a little bit longer in the fiber. Feather it. Maybe too long. So, hackle doubled. 
Paint it with the tip and fold it back. Last portion of our wing, black. I'm going to use a black fox here because we're not tying an overly big fly. And I'll get this out to about 65, 70 mil probably with the fox. I have that here. I have a ruler glued to my table. So this hair is 70 mil long. So if I use it at its full length, we'll take the fly out to 70 mil. black that you put in up to yourself. can tie this in as we tied in the other bunches. You just tie it in straight across top and then cut this bit off or you can fold it over and tie it in that way and back on itself. Maybe a little bit more secure but you will lose that bit of length. So, if you wanted to get more length or taper into that there, you could now take a longer bit of fox or some sort of guard hair or maybe a little bit of goat or something like that there and tie it in and you can actually make long, very long sort of tailing out uh, wings with, with that approach. So, here we take a, a little bit of longer fox. This is more sort of a yard hair portion of the tail from the tip. And if I pull out all of that sort of under fur of that, I'll end up with sort of like a long spindly bunch. If I measure this out, we're out at this up to 80 millimeters long on this, so we'll get an extra bit of taper on the end of our wing with that. shape now. So, finishing touches to this one. We have uh, strands of peacock hurl. Not an overly big fly here so I'm going to go with two I think. Put them out on top. Get them up 
into the center. And then we'll put on some jungle cock. So pick out a couple of feathers. side of the head for length. This is the general tan of the fly finished. I'm going to cut that off. You could put a cone on at this stage, but I'm going to do something a little bit different here. So I'm going to cut that off. And then flame it down. make a green head part. So we have a glow bright floss here. I'm gonna get that started. Coat it with glue. That'll give us a nice bright green head. So, what I'm going to do then is I've got this fluorescent yellow uh, nail varnish. I'm going to put on a run of that right now. It's kind of a watery-ish one. So it soaks into all those gaps in between that thread and gives me a nice bright green finish. And when that dries down, I'll put a couple of coats of clear on it to finish it up. But that is our sort of Greenland variant, our Greenlander variant. 